How's it going my friends? My name is System Z and today I have another Minecraft tutorial for you and this time we're specifically in the snapshot and we're in 13W37B. Where's the coordinates? Where are they? I don't know. They're not popping up. Oh, maybe maybe because I don't have my thing. There we go. 37B. Okay. <laughs> so what I have for you today is a cool little door concept. This has actually been around for quite a while, uh, but it's a lot easier now on the snapshot with all these new commands. So I'm going to go ahead and give it, a, give it a show. So the concept here is say I'm playing on an adventure map and I need to get past this door in order to show you guys what how this tutorial is done. I need to get past this door. But this little thing over here says diamond, or a, a diamond block. Now since this is creative, I'm going to cheat a little bit, let's make sure no one's out here. And uh, I'm guessing we're just going to have to place this block here. Huh. Well, what do you know? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Clearly, we need to place that block right there. Now, let's see what these command blocks say. But first, actually, now we'll go ahead and show it. So this, I know this is really easy. I didn't make this up. But it, it's, it's a really good concept, and I want to resurface it because I haven't seen anybody really use this in any map in a long time. This could be very useful. The way this works is I have it doing a test for block, which is one of the new commands. This is the new screen for command blocks, by the way. I plan on doing a snapshot video soon, but I don't have it right now. Uh, so the test for block command is the newest, um, I believe it was actually in the snapshot, it might have been the last, but command for the console, or the, you know, the thing, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Uh, where you can test for blocks in this area. I think this is the right syntax for it. I might be wrong, but I think it's right. Um, so basically, it's going to test for these coordinates in which block. This is so useful. Uh, but it's going to test for the block that, you know, is at that location. And if there is one, then, you know, the rest, you know how these blocks work. And next, I'm going to use a set block that will set a redstone block. You know what? I'm gonna actually go ahead and show you what I have behind the, in the in the beast, I guess you could say. <laughs> so I have a simple piston door, um, triple. I use this in my Powercraft Let's Play, uh, not this particular redstone, but you know the three by three and the uh, hole in the middle. Um, but that's besides the point. This is how this all works. So basically, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of this because I don't care about it. Actually, no. That was all pointless of me to do. And let's just not worry about it. Hurry up. It's going to drive me crazy because, you know, Minecraft OCD. Alright, so <laughs> I have this running on a loop, which is controlled by this lever. And what happens is it's going to go ahead and test right here. It's going to test to above the original location of this command block for an air block. And if there is air, then go ahead and set uh then go ahead and set a redstone block right here or somewhere around here. I don't know where it is. We'll see it here in a second, hopefully. Uh, um, actually, it's... Oh, never mind. All right. The reason this isn't working... Let me go ahead and remove that diamond block. Screwed me over is what you did. But basically, what happens if there is no block, it'll go ahead and place a redstone block here using that set block command that I showed you a minute ago. And basically what this happens is it says if there is a block, two blocks above this command block, and it is air, then go ahead and set a redstone block, negative five on the Z coordinate away. And as you can see, it's about five, literally five. It's on the negative five mark away from it. Then basically that's how you can do wireless redstone right there is by switching a lever and it'll do it. And you know, it, it simple little thing. And it basically just powers this, and I also have it running off. Just to save it a little space, I figured, you know, if this thing's powered, why not just let it power the rest, because that's, it's going to do that anyways. So, if there is a diamond block, bust through the ceiling, I'm Spider-Man, alright, there we go. If it does have a diamond block, then it will actually run this, which is going to test if there are four above, and, and the only reason it's four is because it's lower than this. If there's a diamond block, this can be any block you want. I can change it to wool, sandstone, any block you want. It doesn't even have to have this Minecraft beside it. Um, and then what it will do is if there is one, 
then go ahead and change that block over there which I have it now 2 on the Y coordinate up and then negative 5 on the Z and it's gonna set it to sandstone now the reason it's 2 up is because it's lower and negative 5 as you can see there's sandstone here this just power <coughs> powers it off and since the top row right here isn't powered this isn't gonna be powered so that's really it uh, it's a very simple design and I really hope to see this in future adventure maps I know if I were gonna make one this would be a really cool feature I mean you could have it so that your quest was to get a block of diamond and that would open up some giant boss layer you don't even have to have a piston door you can make it all command blocks by having set blocks set air everywhere you need it to and a 3x3 three three, a 5x5 five five, or a 20,000 by 20,000 door it's really very interesting. So that, my friends, is another redstone tutorial completed. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll continue PowerCraft once again, most likely Monday, possibly Sunday. And uh, by the time you see this, there should be a Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Let's Play out. I just started that, so do me a favor and go show that some support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please leave your suggestions if you have any suggestion or want to just learn something about redstone and I'll try and figure it out for you and help you out. So this has been Redstone Tutorials with your buddy System Z. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.